So I have for you here the Twitter battle to end all Twitter battles. You think you've seen fights online before? You ain't seen nothing until you see what happened here between the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire and Nina Turner. Nina Turner tweeted the following. Insulin should be free. Medicine should be free. That is probably the most innocuous tweet I've ever seen in my life. This is something where if you polled it, like 80% of the American people would agree. I, this very basic, basic left-wing stuff. Hey, we should have this thing called the commons that is publicly funded, and it should be the necessities of life. File it under the duh category. Well, the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire decided to chime in and show their whole ass to the world, and they said, Nina Turner picking crops should be free. So, uh, Nina quote tweets the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire, that exact tweet I just read to you, and she says, this is racist and anti-black, period. In no way is advocating for free insulin comparable to chattel slavery. Shameful and uneducated. Okay, it doesn't stop. It continues. It continues. So they say to her, you shouldn't pick crops for free because you're black. Oh, well, thank you. How kind of you, Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. You should pick crops as reparations, huh, for the rights you violated as a politician. Care to elaborate on the rights that you're referring to that uh, Nina Turner violated? I'd love to hear you lay out in specific detail what the hell you're talking about. Now, look, you know these people. What would these hardcore extremist libertarians say? Basically, any government intervention at all, any taxation at all, is illegal, it's immoral, it's unfair, it is theft, effectively. That's what they'd say. But I got news for you, my dude. The overwhelming majority of people don't agree with you. They believe in this thing called a social contract, which you act like doesn't exist. You act like it's not even a viable opinion to believe in the idea of a social contract, regardless of the particulars. So Nina says, just to be clear, the statement that prompted this was, quote, insulin should be free. People who need insulin to live should not have to pay, on average, $98 a vial when it costs $10 to produce. This belief prompted this party to say, you should pick crops. Now, by the way, I don't know if her numbers are even right there. I thought that insulin costs less than $10 to make. But either way, look, you look at every other developed country, and they have free health care. It's free at the point of service, paid for by tax dollars. That's the way it works in every other developed country. Uh, even when it comes to the pharmaceutical industry, you know, you go and pay a flat rate of like $10 or $20 or whatever it is in the UK, and you get any medicine, you need, even if that medicine costs $68,000, you go and pay your flat $10, $20 fee, and you're good. And you're good. But here in the US, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there was a, a fact that it's like $300 a vial in many places in the US for insulin. Well, what happens if you're middle class or if you're poor and you can't afford your insulin? What happens? Because you need insulin to survive if you have diabetes. So what do you do? Well, the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire says, I don't see what the problem is. This is the way the system works. This is capitalism, baby. This is the free market. Everybody needs to pay their own way. That's the end of the conversation. So Nina said right here, so Libertarians is trending at nine on Twitter for telling me to pick crops for free for advocating free insulin, and the Libertarian Party National hasn't said a word. Okay, so now the National Libertarian Party chimes in and says, Hi Nina, glad you asked. None of the things you advocate for are free. They require labor and materials which need to be compensated for. Otherwise, you are advocating for slavery. Hope this helps. Nina responds, Taxpayer subsidizing life-saving medicine is not equal to chattel slavery. If you don't agree with that, policy stance, that's one thing, but equating it to chattel slavery is extremely insulting. Hope that helps. Guys, I'm so tired of having these basic, entry-level, rudimentary conversations. I'm sorry, I get it, I get it, Libertarian Party. You read like one or two Ayn Rand books and you thought you found the answer to life. You read one uh, F.A. Hayek book or Milton Friedman book, or Friedrich von Mises book, and you thought, that's it! I figured it all out. I'm not going to read any other economists or philosophers or anything. I have my answer. Uh, greed is good. Capitalism is, uh, is justice. So let, let's walk through this. The idea, well, none of this is free, so why do you say free? Everybody knows what that means. It's a colloquial term. It means free at the point of service. 
as in paid for by your tax dollars. So in other words, we all know we have a government, we have taxes. The only reasonable debate is, okay, well, what are the tax rates going to be? How much are we going to give to the government? And what are, what's that money going to go towards? That's the debate adults are having. Not adults are saying, oh, taxation is theft. You got to eliminate all taxes. It's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. All of us adults are over here discussing what's the proper tax rate and what should that money go towards. And when you say, I think X should be free, you're saying it should be paid for by taxes. So effectively, driving on public roads is free. Why? Because it's paid for with taxes. The fire department is free. Why? Because it's paid for with taxes. Going to elementary school is free. Why? Because it's paid for with taxes. And there's different levels of government. You know, we have local government, state government, federal government, and at, you know, different levels, the, governments do diff the government does different things. This is all obvious. We all know that. Everybody knows this. So when somebody says X is free, it means it's paid for by taxes. We've all agreed in a social contract, hey, government, you could take X percentage of my income, and then here are the things that you deliver in return. That's all it means. That's all it means. And they, they play professionally stupid. And they act, well, it requires labor and materials which need to be compensated for. Otherwise, you are advocating for slavery. This is like when Ben Shapiro said, free, he free health care is actually slavery. Free health care is, is uh, forced labor. That's what it is. No, it's not. It's literally just a, bit, a debate about funding mechanisms. Are you going to fund it in the private market where people have to pay out of pocket every time they go? Or are you going to fund it through the public, through the commons, where the bills are paid and the salaries are paid through the government coffers, through tax money. Like, the idea that all government anywhere ever equals slavery, that is so idiotic, ahistorical, and, uh, you know, against everybody's normal intuitions, that you, this is why you get laughed out of the room, Libertarian Party. This is why nobody takes you seriously. It's like when they have the debates and the guys are arguing for the right of, like, Bro, no, we shouldn't have age of consent laws, bro. What are you talking about? No, we shouldn't have driver's licenses, bro. Wasn't there a libertarian debate one time where somebody showed up naked and they said, it's my right to do this if I want to do this. This is where you guys are. So instead of the Libertarian Party nationally coming out and saying, hey man, um, we condemn the New Hampshire Libertarian Party that just told a black woman to go pick crops for free. We condemn that. Oh, we understand the intellectual point they were trying to make, but we don't agree with it. Instead of doing that, what do they do? They double down and hit you with the dumbest Ayn Rand talking points you can imagine. Actually, nothing is free. Me. <laughs> you know what people mean. Stop being professionally stupid. They're showing their whole ass on the timeline, man. They really are. It's actually kind of embarrassing. It, it's, it's a great example of, like, self-disenfranchisement, you know. And uh, it shows that, it shows how cringe the super libertarian phase can be. That many young people go through, you know, like this is the logical end result of that. <laughs> These are the kind of fights that you end up picking. Super duper embarrassing. Hey, y'all do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.